in the thematic category called compassion, that discursive formation associates solidary or selfish behaviors to characters with a certain degree of corpulence. Twelve film clips with statements related to the theme are found. It can be said that the theme in this regard was laid in silent cinema, starting only after the First World War. Despite this, it was growing until the beginning of spoken cinema. All passages themed indirectly, that is, without a clear explanation of the association between the corpulence of the character and its behavior. In the social representations analyzed, there was no clear trend towards compassion, with recurrences of both compassionate and uncompassive behaviors. As an illustration, six small excerpts were chosen. In the first of them, from Ross Warbuckle's 1918 film, Moonshine, a woman is reacting to the villain's onslaught, being assaulted, while the overweight protagonist, watches the scene. He runs and saves the girl from aggression. Then, however, he reproaches her throwing the woman into a lake. First, therefore, he is compassionate, but then he is cruel. Ambiguous behavior, therefore, of the character in relation to solidarity. Differently from the second selected excerpt, from Charlie Chaplin's 1919 film Sunnyside, in which a stout supporting actor is extremely supportive and helpful, providing first aid to an accident victim. He runs catches the victim and carries him in his arms until the reception of the inn. Later, he still carries the man to the room. In this excerpt, therefore, a clearly compassionate behavior is associated with the burly character. Likewise, in the film The Last Laugh, in 1924, by F. W. Murnau, the stout protagonist, when he sees a child being knocked over, sympathizes, and runs to help him. He protects her from other children and gives her a candy to regain her joy. Therefore, he shows himself indisputably as a person with a good heart, compassionate to the suffering of others. Quite different than in Eisenstein's 1925 film The Strike, in which the protagonist, the fat director of a factory, is insensitive to his workers' strike after a fatal work accident. He shows himself irascible, nervous, and plots behind the scenes to stifle the work stoppage, showing misanthropy. Finally, in two excerpts from Hardy and Morrill, in the 1928 films, The Stone Age and Their Purple Moment, the ambiguity and the association between a certain degree of corpulence and compassionate or uncompassive behaviors is again expressed.
In this first part, Hardy's character helps another man to lift a stone, to extract his tooth that hurts him. It happens, however, that the Solidarity throws the stone into the abyss, which also throws the needy down the hill. In the second excerpt, the fat man sees another man taking a pie on his face and laughs incessantly until himself receives the same treatment. <laughs> 